Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use ROS to publish several motor positions on a simple robotic manipulator uh, through Arduino. So the manipulator that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is the one seen here that can be purchased off of Amazon. It is a five degree of freedom uh, manipulator which does have a gripper actuation so it does consist of six uh, simple servo motors. To control these servo motors, what I use is this 16 channel 12 bit pulse width modulated servo driver that can be purchased off of Adafruit. It is the PCA 9685. And this driver lets you control up to 16 servo motors. The schematic or the pin diagram can, can be shown here, where we have our power supply coming in here. And then we have our pins here. Our VCC will be our five volts from the Arduino. Our SDA will go to analog pin, analog pin four. SEL will go to analog pin five. And then these two pins here are grounded. And the servos will plug into these ports here which have three pins. The ground is on the outside and the signal uh, pin is on the inside. And you can stack the, you, you can stack these whichever way you want. Uh, they have these stacked zero through one and 13 to 15, but I stacked them zero through five. To use this uh, servo driver, you will, to, to use it with Arduino anyways, you, you will need a library that can be cloned or downloaded from the Adafruit uh, GitHub. Oh, it's the Adafruit PWM Servo Driver Library. All right, so we can actually clone this into our Arduino library. So I'm gonna switch over here to my Linux virtual machine. So where you wanna clone this, first of all, we gotta change our directory into the Arduino. All right, and we're gonna do a list, change directory into a library. All right, and then this is where we wanna clone. I'm gonna get this error because I already have this library installed. So if I print out the list here, you'll see that I already have this installed. Down here. All right, so once you have this library installed, then what you wanna do is download the sample Arduino uh, file that I have uh, in my personal GitHub. And this is the file right here. So you can actually just copy and paste, paste it on your Arduino ID and then just save it, or you can clone it, whatever works best. Um, so I already have it open over here on my virtual machine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and explain what's going on a little bit. All right, looks like I have most of the script here. So up, starting from the top, we will need to include the ROS header file. Um, I don't think we need the STD messages for, for this tutorial, but we do need the sensor messages. So we will be importing the joint state, the joint state uh, messages from the sensor messages uh, library. And then these two header files here, you will need for the, uh, the pulse width modulated servo driver. We define our, our constants and then we define the number of servos. We declare a ROS node handle so this node handle will run every time 
um, every every time the subscriber receives a, a message. I created this created this function here called servo one CB. CB stands for, for callback uh, because we will want to run this function every time that the node handle runs as well. And it takes as, as arguments our sensor message or, or our joint states. And then in this function, I have I have these six lines commented out because I'll use those for a later tutorial. Uh, so let's focus on these other six lines. So this right here is what we will be reading from our publisher, from our Rust, Rust publisher. All right, so our subscriber, our subscriber will be reading the position from our message. All right, and this message is a joint state message. All right. And so if we look at what a joint state message consists of. All right, here we go. So this message consists of a name in the form of a string, position in the form of a float 64, and velocity and effort as well. Right, so we won't be we won't be reading the, the name, the velocity, or the effort. What we're interested in right now is this position right here, float 64 uh, position. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to point out is that these this header file right here can actually be found in the ROS uh, Arduino library. And we can see all of the messages that we can use with the Arduino. So the messages that we're gonna be using for this tutorial, sensor messages, and we have our joint state header file right here. So if you wanna, if you want to, publish a different type of message, you can just look at the available ones on the Arduino library. The, I'm sorry, the ROS Arduino library. All right, going back to the Arduino script here. So we're gonna be reading those messages. We're gonna be reading the position and we're gonna be saving them. So we want these values to be between zero and 180 because these are 180 degree servos. And then to set to actually set the the position on the servo, we will use the this function right here, pwm dot set pwm. And the first number is our servo number. So remember on the the way the way that they're plugged into the the way that they're plugged into the um, the, the servo driver, right? The second number. Don't remember what it is for, but usually just stays at zero. And then our pulse width uh, function or pulse width value. All right. And the pulse width function is declared down here. All right. So we've set the position of the, the servo at this point uh, based on what we read from the ROS uh, publisher. All right. So moving on. We create a subscriber and it's going to be sus subscribing to the sensor messages topic and the joint joint state message. And we're going to be calling these, this subscriber uh, subscriber one and subscribing to joint states. And it's running the servo one callback function every time it reads a new state. Right. And then our voice setup, we start our PWM, we set our frequency. Oh yeah, this is really important here. So if you're using less than four servos, you can actually just omit this line uh, because the, the, the baud rate is uh, defaulted to something lower. I don't remember what the default is, 
but it works fine with less than four motors, servo motors. When you have four or more servo motors, you want to use the 115,200 uh, baud rate to be able to to be able to control all of the the motors. So in our case, we are going to be changing the baud rate, and then we initialize the node, and we initialize the subscriber, and then we just loop with a delay of one millisecond. All right, so that is the Arduino code explained. Now let's set this aside a little bit. All right, so we're gonna move over to our terminals again. We're gonna open a new one. Uh, so this one here is a, the Arduino IDE running. So on this next one, I'm gonna start the ROS master node by typing in ROS core. And I forgot to upload this to the Arduino, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. All right, it's done uploading to the Arduino. I'm gonna open another terminal. Now at this point, we have to make sure that we have the uh, raw serial packages installed. And you can find these packages on the ROS wiki. Let me switch over here and show you. Okay, so this is the Arduino IDE setup on the, in the ROS wiki. And the two packages you will need to install are shown here. So on your terminal, you can run sudo app get install ROS. I'm using ROS Kinetic, so ROS Kinetic ROS Serial Arduino, as well as ROS Kinetic ROS Serial. Okay, I have, al I have already downloaded those packages, so I'm gonna skip to the next step. And the next step is to start our, our serial node. So we use a ROS run, then the uh, ROS serial Python directory, and the, and the serial node, whoops, and the serial node.py file. And then here we declare the port that the Arduino is connected to. So you can find this in the Arduino IDE by going down to tools, port. And you can see that it is the TTY ACM zero. That's what I have here. And then we declare the baud rate because we are changing it from the default, 115,200. And we start the node. If you're using a, a virtual machine, remember to select your uh, USB input. Select your Arduino so that you can, you can have access to the Arduino on your virtual machine. All right, so this node has started. Uh, this is the raw serial Python node. We've connected to the serial port um, at the desired baud rate. And we have set up a subscriber on the joint state uh, topic. And this is our message type. All right, once that's done, we can start publishing. So to do this, we will use the ROS topic publish uh, terminal command. So ROS topic publish, and then the name of the topic, which is joint states, the message type, which is sensor messages uh, joint state, and our message. So our message is whatever is shown here in quotation. So right now, th this uh, this joint state position has six values. It is a it is a six value array, and each one of these values is the servo position for each servo. So a servo the servo position for servo one, which is right here. Then servo two, three, four five, and six. All right, so this is what our Arduino will be reading in this chunk of our script. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to show you what this looks like on the, on the manipulator. All right, so this is the manipulator right here. 
uh, it just fell off because it's got no power right now. Uh, this is the power supply that I'm using. It's a small DC uh, power supply. Um, using a six volt with a 2.5 uh, amp current. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And the manipulator is latched. All right, so if we wanna control the position of the servos, this is what we will use. So again, we're gonna use the ROS topic, publish, the name of the topic, which is the joint states, and then the message, the message type, and the actual message. So our message is what is seen in quotations. So right now, our first servo, which is the bottom one right here, is at 45 degrees. This one's at 90, at 90, at zero, at 60, and at 50 degrees. All right, so let's change the value of this uh, servo from 50 to 90. All right. You can see that it closed. Now let's rotate this second to last servo, our fifth servo. So I'm gonna control C to close this. And I'm gonna change it from 60 to 180. There you go. And that's it. That's pretty much it. You can play around with any of the servo positions. And in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Arvis and the GUI slider to control the to control a virtual robot as well as the actual manipulator. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.